हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी के वेलकम एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग इन फ्यू पॉइंट्स दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू एप्लीकेशन फॉर एवरी सीसा डॉट प्रोग्राम ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द मैक्स फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड मैक्सिमम नंबर फ्रॉम द गिवन एरे ओके और यू कैन टेक इज इनपुट ओके सो नाउ लेट्स क्लास वी स्टार्ट अप so i have declared here class and created a class and declared main number so i am going to add the logic so we need to declare some variable integer here are okay so i am declaring some variable okay so suppose square 34 64 23 36 37 okay so Eighty five. That that I have some numbers. Okay. So I want to find the second largest and first largest. So for loop, before for loop, I want to equal something. Integer as max one comma max two. Okay. So after that. Integer i is equal to zero to i less than a r dot length i plus plus. Okay. So console dot try from so here a r of i. Okay. I want to print this. Before this, I want to print one message. Answer dot write on array elements are so it will it will print the elements these elements. Okay. Now I am going to write the logic for finding the first maximum and second maximum number. So I need to loop so int i is equal to zero to i less than I less than a r dot length and i plus plus. Okay. So after that, I want to check if if a r of i a r of i is greater than max one. Okay. Is greater than max one. Then what I want to do here? Max two is equal to max one. Okay. And now max one is equal to a r of i. Okay. So it is giving here some error because of we need to initialize some variable. So here and max. Max one is equal to max two. Is equal to suppose a r of zero. Okay. So I have multiplied some value here. A r of zero is nothing but twelve. So it will check two from a start from zero twelve. Okay. So after that, if Else, else, if. After that, we need to find out again if a r r of j, not j because I don't, I don't, I want to use j. So a r r of i greater than, full greater than max two. Okay. So after that, max two is equal to. A R R of I. Okay. So our program is completed. Now I need to fill this one. So Console dot write line T. Here max one. First we need to fill max one. Okay. Max one value is equal to. Yeah, zero 
and it will next one. Okay, the so same thing. I want to just copy and paste here next to. Okay, so if you want to find out only one number next to maximum time, it will they will ask another set next number. So at that time you don't need to track this line. Okay, you can comment this line or don't track. Okay, so my program is completed. Completed. My program is done. So now let's understand. So how it will execute? Here ARR is nothing but zero. Zero is nothing but this position. ARR of zero. This ARR is nothing but my array. Okay, variable now. So it will array always start from zero. So zero is nothing but twelve here. So it will start from zero and it will check next one. Next one now is zero. Zero is nothing but twelve. Okay, so it will start from zero. Zero is nothing but twelve. So here, error of zero, error of twelve, greater than next one. Next one also twelve. So condition here is not true. Okay. So it will come here and it, here it will check. So here also condition is not match. So it will not print any. So now it will again come here. I plus plus. Now I value will be one. So one is nothing but this 34. So it will again check here condition is true because next one is 12. Error of i error of i is 34. So it will create the next one. So it will change here the value. Okay, so next one will be now max two value will be 12 and max one value will be 34. So like that it will execute that till the condition is true. Condition is matching. So Finally, I am going to run this program. So now you can see our output. Okay, we need to hear that of one story dot read line. So you can see our output. Just press F5 and you can see array elements are this is our array. So your max one value is 85 or max two value is 57. So you can change here. New line. Okay, so it will look nicer. Now check here. <coughs> yeah, next one is 85. Next to it, 57. So thank you for watching this video.